Hello. Hello. I have a new office, and I'm very happy with it. It is amazing. And I know it's been a long time, and uh, about the Iron Legend review, that's not going to be coming. It's uh, a lot harder than I thought, apparently, to uh, record clips and make them fashionable for a PC. So you can forget that. I'm sorry. DS, more DS reviews are going to be coming, but in the meantime, I have a special little treat. Uh, the makers of the Three Boys Productions group that made uh, that, that makes Students of the Unusual is uh, that, that's the name Three Boys Productions. Um, well, they mailed me these. Uh, they mailed me these two free issues. Uh, asking me to go ahead and um, and make another review so uh, three boys productions here you go I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one for you guys right now and uh, well, let's see I don't know if this mic is gonna work from over here I miss my headset all right so let's go ahead and do this uh, they sent me uh, this one. This one is a limited edition one. Thank you. Um, and in case you don't know the whole, th in case you don't know the whole uh, thing with students of the unusual, it is uh, it's kind of an interesting series. What it is is it's a collection of uh, kind of short horror stories. Some of them are canonical, uh, with other stories in other issues. In fact, uh, that's most. Uh, so most of these things are it's uh it's a bunch of different stories that kind of run through each other. Most of them are just about the strange, uh, just about like the strange or horror stories, and uh, it's a really really cool uh, group because this is an indie comic. You would not know that this is an indie comic judging from that cover. I mean, come on, that kind of art. It's amazing. Um. Uh, okay, so some of the stories here are. Um, well, the stories in here uh, are done by many different artists, but they all get together and they all perform, uh, and, they, and they all just kind of perform their art uh, together, and all their stories uh, kind of converge. Hold on, I'm saying, what am I saying? I'm babbling here. This is amazing. I'm trying to make it sound scientific and amazing, but I can't do it. There's no other word for this. This thing is amazing. Check this out. It's got uh, it's got so many different art styles, but all the stories are really, really crazy. Like in this one, apparently Elvis and the little boy have been kidnapped, and this kid brings his dad zombie back to life, and all together they must like uh, go and rescue Elvis Presley. This is one of those strange, funny ones. Now this one's a little more serious. This is like a tumor cancer thing that's come back to life. And, uh, they f and these kids find a meteorite that allows them to bring back their dead uncle, Uncle Pat. And, uh, and they start bringing other stuff back to life, and it doesn't work out quite well. And then there's another story about a bunch of kids playing with fruits, but the acid of a fruit gets in a kid's eye and blinds them, and then they fall into a sulfur well. And this is kind of where one of the biggest uh, surprises for me came was that this whole thing many stories in these students of the unusual are based heavily around uh, Florida and for for example it talks a lot of, a lot of uh, about Florida geography and Florida history and old legends some made up but some not so much and it's really just kind of interesting if any of you live in Florida this you're, you're going to pretty much relate to some of these stories, and then there's one with like an ancient cult, and this guy has tumors growing all over him, and then uh, an insane asylum escapee. I mean, and then this one came with a music CD in it. They're making music, and look at that. I mean, come on. If this is an indie comic and he can draw like that, they should go pro. I really do think so. I mean, th this the stories in this are. Uh, it's 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 just amazing. Some of these stories you won't follow unless you've read prior issues, but uh, but other ones are just shockingly. Uh, so, some are a little more adult, so this probably isn't the best to give to kids under ten, under either ten or eleven. 
I don't know, everyone's different. But in all honesty, you see this one is the is the one with the music CD. These these are certainly uh certainly some very very stunning just very stunning stories and very stunning artwork. One thing that you'll notice in these though that is kind of a kind of odd is in fact the in is in fact uh just just the just the fact that you've got to like pick up the next issue to get to the next story which is not a bad thing in a lot of cases but sometimes that leaves picking up a, a, a later issue you're gonna kind of be missing out on the story but um there is an option in here to go and order uh back back order i mean you don't find that in many indie comics but this is uh this is uh certainly very good it's certainly uh who the the people three boys productions certainly uh makes this very very interesting uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give these two comic books right here I'm gonna go ahead and give them a 10 out of 10 that's better than the last review I did uh, because this time there really is no inconsistency um it really is it's, it's just amazing I don't see why these guys are not pro so uh, that's my review of students of the unusual I'll go ahead and say one more thing that the music on the CD it's top grade. They've got a letter column in here, even. I mean, they have all the makings of a professional comic book company. I mean, look at that. Look at that. They've got their own column. How many indie comics have their own column? I mean, seriously. This is amazing. If, if I were to see this on Dime Store Shelf, I would give this a peek. I mean, I, I would seriously, yeah. I would really. I would get this. Students of the unusual, 10 out of 10.